James and Lindsay from Yorkshire's Best Adventures and we're on a walking tour of York with Tim Barber's Real York Tours. If you're looking at history, York's got lost. Um, the Queen's father, George VI, said the history of York is the history of England, and it really is. You've got everything here from the Romans, the Normans, the Tudors, right through to modern day. So, fantastic view of the Minster from here. But just trying to put it in perspective, the Minster was finished in 1470. Garden was actually it, it was the land owned by the Abbey but after the dissolution of the monasteries part sort of, uh, was given to the to, to the crown so, so these are like coffins well they, they, they are they're, they're, they're actually sort of old Roman stone coffins oh my um, goodness the, there's a dead person in one <laughs> Tim where are we okay we're at King's Manor now um, which now actually houses uh, the York University Department of Archaeology Okay, are we well, allowed in here? Of course you are, yeah. L lots of people you don't sure? actually understand that you're allowed in, but this is actually part of the uh, York University's sort of Department of Archaeology. So follow, follow the... So, so this looks like a bull. Yeah, it's a, it's a calf of a bull. The reason it's here was that the uh, Sixth Legion of, 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 of Romans, this was their emblem. There's actually two places in York that claim to be sort of Guy Fawkes, um, Guy Fawkes birthplace, but this one next to St Michael the Belfry's sort of church, the old sort of Guy Fawkes hotel and pub, is actually sort of one of the places with that, with that claim. Okay, well, what you've got here, York Minster, first Minster here was from Saxon times, 627, but what we see now in front of us was built over a 250 year period from about sort of 1220 to 1470. I don't quite know what my partner in crime is doing here, but it looks really interesting. Oh, I'm trying to get the... Lindsay, why are you on the floor outside I'm trying to do Minster? a really cool selfie of right. me with the whole of the Minster in you the background. You've never looked cooler. So we're in the chapter house, and each one of these seats that you can see around the outside, mm -hmm. they're actually um, sat in by uh, various members of the church. So okay. we're going to test out and see if this whispering gallery works. Apparently the acoustics are so good in here that if one of us sits on one side of the wall, once it's on the other side of the wall, mm. we should be able to still hear each other despite having no microphones or anything. So you can see how far Lindsay is away from me now. So Lindsay, can you hear me? Can you whisper something? Well, I heard that perfectly. She said www.yorkishbestadventures.co.uk Were they all short in medieval times, Tim? Uh, they definitely were shorter in those days. Huh? Well, I mean, what was sort of the average height of your average medieval person? Obviously not six foot. <laughs> So what, what, what we've got here is Barley Hall. It's a, it's a medieval townhouse dating back to the 1300s. And where? <gasps> Chocolate shop. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the Shambles, it's probably York's most famous street. Tim, is it true that this was the inspiration for Diagon Alley in the Harry Potter films? I believe so, yes it was. I mean, it's a, it's a medieval street, you can see the, uh, the overhanging sort of rooms above. Um, but this is actually, uh, this is uh, the, the, the Shambles, uh, as you sort of said, probably uh, the, the, the most famous sort of street in York, certainly most photographed street in England, they reckon. At the end of our tour with uh, Tim Barber from Real Yorkshire Tours, we're ending it at the bottom of the uh, Shambles, and we can safely say that the tour has not been a shambles at all. It's been absolutely brilliant. So thanks, Tim. Well, thank well you done. so much. No We've had a fabulous time. Brilliant. Thank you.